voter suppression is a tactic to ensure that certain targeted uh, segment of society don't register uh, or make it difficult for them to register, either by making the registration process very far away or by not uh, um, um, providing the right information on the voting process, uh, using different tactics to make sure that they, d- they don't turn out. So for example, in some countries, rural voters don't get the right information or urban voters, uh, you, you make it very difficult for them to register. So that way and people give up easily and their numbers are suppressed. In terms of, uh, there are different ways of uh, doing voter suppression. One way is voter intimidation. Basically by intimidating the voter by threatening, by misinforming them or by uh, making them unsafe or par- you know paranoid about the uh, voting process, then you intimidate them from either uh, coming out to vote or voting for the wrong person. So voter intimidation activities could be um, threatening voters not to turn out to vote or um, pushing them or coercing them to vote for the candidate that's not their choice. So as part of uh, uh, our work, we, we employ different strategies to ensure that voter suppression, uh, to diminish voter suppression. And one of it is uh, um, working with local groups to do public uh, um, and massive uh, uh, education, uh, voter education, understanding where people get their information, whether in rural areas and urban areas, and using those, uh, for instance, if they listen to community radios, we work with community radios to make sure that people actually get access to the right information. Uh, the other thing is also combating fake news, working with different groups to ensure that there's a fact checking and people actually uh, co- continuously uh, you know, provide the right kind of information for voters. And then also in terms of intimidation, um, setting up hotlines for, for groups to address any kind of intimidation and then working with election commissioners to make sure that uh, election security at polling stations are adequately you know, done and there's enough uh, security so that people, when they come, they feel free to vote for, uh, for the candidates of their choice.